in the past, if you couldn't get a job at a major company in Japan, then you probably did not have a good chance to be successful in society. However, fast forward to 2020, the startup boom and digital revolution have prompted large companies to expand investment in emerging innovative firms. On top of that, Japanese economy is the third largest economy by gross domestic product in the world. Due to potential for growth, every year it becomes more and more common for startups to initiate in Japanese land, which is why we bring to you today a list of the top seven most successful startups in Japan. Number one, Mercari. First launched in 2013, Mercari was founded by former Rakuten employee Shintaro Yamada and has become one of Japan's most recognizable e-commerce platforms. It is currently worth almost half a billion dollars and has offices in the U.S. and U.K. Their main product, the Mercari Marketplace app, was first launched in Japan in July 2013 and has since grown to become Japan's largest community-powered marketplace with over JPY 10 billion in transactions carried out on the platform each month. Over 100,000 items are listed on Mercari each day, which has been described by some in the media as the new eBay. Last year, it hired former Facebook VP John Lagerling as its American CEO and has been steadily increasing market share ever since. If Mercari can make it in the U.S., I'm sure we can make it elsewhere too, he said upon his arrival. It forces companies to go up to global standards quickly, and I think the U.S. is one of the most competitive markets globally. That will basically build muscle to be competitive elsewhere. The Mercari app has been downloaded over 100 million times worldwide as of 16 December 2017, and the company is the first in Japan to reach unicorn status. And Unicorn in Japan is a privately held startup valued at over $1 billion, which further demonstrates the success that Macari has had in Japan. Number 2. CookPad One of Japan's startup old guard, CookPad, a Pinterest-style recipe sharing platform, was founded in 1997 by Tokyo-based entrepreneur Akimitsu Sano. So successful was the company, the Sano took it public in 2009 and stepped down as CEO in 2012 to invest in other startups like Japan's Minano Wedding, U.S. food blog Cucumber Town, and most recently a Lebanese site Shahaya. The company's fortunes have plateaued of late, but CookPad remains one of Japan's most popular apps. In 2014, it used a $9 million funding round to scale and offers recipes in Japanese, English, Spanish, and Indonesian, and has a staff of several hundred. CookPad was so successful in the moment that it even went public on the Tokyo Stock Exchange in July 2009. As of December 2018, CookPad had more than 5 million registered recipes. The only product of the CookPad startup is the eponymous CookPad, a recipe sharing platform with 60 million monthly unique users in Japan and 40 million monthly unique users globally, allowing visitors to upload and search through original, user-created recipes. The firm established its global headquarters in Bristol, UK, and is expanding its business into international markets with offices in the UK, Spain, Indonesia, Lebanon, Brazil, India, Taiwan, Hungary, Greece, Russia, and elsewhere. Number 3. Seven Dreamers Laboratories, Inc. Envision the spirit of Japanese invention wholeheartedly. Tokyo-based Seven Dreamers Laboratory, Inc. was founded in 2014 with the goal of creating things the world has never seen. Seven Dreamers Laboratories has effectively made huge breakthroughs in the healthcare and robotics fields. However, their current hot product, are more centered in their consumers. The company's most recent headline grabbers, however, have been far more consumer-driven. Take its $1,200 golf club shafts, for example, or the Lawdroid, a clothes-folding robot for the home. The company is currently backed by $95 million and continues to branch into ever more cutting-edge fields 
like healthcare and robotics development and AI. Even if Seven Dreamers Lawdroid did not impress you that much, Connected Robotics has broken even further into the field of robotics and AI and developed a robot that cooks. And if you are thinking that Connected Robotic is our number four on the list, you are right. Connected Robotics, based out of Tokyo, is developing an automaton skilled at crafting takoyaki, a battered octopus ball that is one of the country's most popular street eats. Connected Robots has raised $580,000 to turn their idea of robot-made street food into reality. From VCs including 500 Startups Japan, which means that the idea has definitely captured the hearts and brains of possible investors. Founder Tetsuya Sawanabari even thinks his company is an ideal solution to Japan's dwindling labor market. Sawanabari himself said the following regarding the automaton and its benefits to Japanese economy. Right now, especially in the food service industry, they have a serious lack of labor because people tend to avoid these kind of jobs, doing daily repetitive jobs. Having a robot that cooks for you sounds like a great solution to fill the need for street people. Number 5. Hachitama The perfect product for worried pet owners, Hachitama brings a smart pet feeding device to the table. It comes equipped with a camera, which can monitor a pet while its owner is out of the house. So if you're on your way to work, at your job, during a special event, or eating out, you can know what your little rascal is doing and not worry about finding your carpet ripped to shreds when you get back home. Hachitama is owned by company Teleta, is currently backed by $1 million in seed funding, and expects to do very well given that there are 22 million domestic pets in Japan and hundreds of millions more in the developed world. Number 6. Wealth Navi. Wealth Navi is a wealth management tool. It offers a cloud-based robo-advisory service that helps middle-income people better locate diversified investments internationally. The service was officially launched in April 2015. Owned by corporate information group CBI Holdings, which is composed by three core businesses, CBI Group has massively helped regional banks and credit unions in Japanese territory to adopt financial technology services due to their relative small size compared with typical megabanks. By partnering with this financial giant, Wealthnavi also expects to gain access to a huge base of potential customers that these regional institutes pose. Additionally, the startup has partnered with CBI Securities and Submission SBI Net Bank, both of which are subsidiaries of SBI Holdings, to offer the robo-advisory service to SBI's 2.6 million online banking customers plus 3.6 million stock trading customers. This funding means that the company has fundraised a total of 2.1 billion yen, about $21 million, since the company's launch back in April of 2015. With so many benefits possibilities for growth, partnering with other local banks and credit unions and financial backing, the Wealth Navi startup has achieved a very high success status in the Japanese business world. Number 7. Puksha. Puksha was founded by Katsuya Yunyama and Nafumi Yamada, two Matsuo Lab alumni from the University of Tokyo, a top-tier academic science lab led by world-renowned pioneer of artificial intelligence and deep learning, Dr. Yatuka Matsuo. Puksha mainly sells artificial intelligence algorithm license, used in diverse technological fields, ranging from language analysis and graphic recognition, along with other deep learning tools, and provides support to fully implement the artificial intelligence algorithm to its customer software and hardware. Japanese telecom giant NTT Docomo and Japanese electric utility company TEPCO, also known as Tokyo Electric Power Company, are Paksha's clients, it is also notable to point out that Toyota has invested $10 million into the startup as well, so it's safe to say that Puksha has been widely supported by investors that see promise in its idea. Puksha technology profitability is also incredible, 
holding an operating profit of more than $10,000 per capita, which only 6% of companies listed in the Tokyo Stock Exchange can maintain. In fact, so impressive is this achievement that co-founder Nafumi Yamada was selected to be in Forbes 30 Under 30 Asia, Enterprise Technology, recognizing his impact on Asia and the world. With so many profitable startups, there's no doubt that the so-called era of low Japanese economic growth for startups and digital businesses has definitely come to its end. We thank you for watching our video on the top 7 startups in Japan and also invite you to comment which of these startups sounded the most interesting to you. Let us know in the comments below. Also, we invite you to give us a like, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more amazing informational content like today's video. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Listen.